about five years ago when I bought my bus and I started telling people that I was going to go on a trek around the country to find interesting and unusual places. And almost universally, they all asked if I was going to find the world's largest ball of twine. Well, I found it. We're in uh, Cocker City, Kansas. And let's see, this was started in 1953, so that ball of twine is as old as I am. But it's what, 8 million. 8,300 or 83,640 feet at this point weighs 20,078 pounds so it weighs uh, about 3,000 less than my bus and but this is 43 43 feet around in circumference and if I remember right it's about the same size as the ball, uh, the giant ball of popcorn in Iowa. <laughs> so a little history about this. Uh, Frank Stuber started it. He was born in 1891. And in 1953, he was cleaning up around in his barn, found a bunch of loose twine, was going to burn it. But then he decided, just began winding it into a ball. And he kept going until it was as big as his barn door. And three years later, the Selena Journal published an article about it. At that point, it measured uh, 7 feet 5 inches and weighed 4,000 pounds. Um, in 61, for Kansas celebrates the centennial, it was brought here to for Founders Day Parade and it was left on display next to the post office. Um, in 62 they built a geodesic dome over it and uh, 1973 Guinness World Book of Records declared this as the largest ball of twine in the world. People up in Johnson or up in uh, Darwin, Minnesota in 78 challenged that and they had a bigger ball of twine so uh, they in 1982 the city here decided to have an annual uh, what they call it twine-a-thon and everybody helped out and made this back into being the biggest one um, the different homes it's had it had this this gazebo for a while it outgrew that and then they built this metal shed that it's on so there we go the world's largest ball of twine so just outside of lebanon kansas about 30 miles away from that giant ball of twine at let's see um i gotta read it here latitude 39 degrees 50 minutes longitude 98 degrees 55 minutes is the geographic center of the continental United States and they put this marker up in 1940 which of course is why it only says of the United States because since then we've added Hawaii and Alaska and I'm not sure where the geographic center of all of it is probably someplace out in the Pacific uh, off the coast of California is my guess but um, pretty cool I made it to this place I found a couple years ago the geographic center of the continent and so now I'm gonna get on the road see what other cool places I can find and uh, see you later YouTube I was about to get on the road, a whole lot of people gave me a quest.
find the world's largest ball of twine. Quest completed. Quest number two is find the geographic center of the continental United States. Quest completed.